Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to your fourth Moment.js tutorial. This one's going to be about manipulating Moment objects. Um, so basically it's going to be about um, adding or subtracting time relative to Moment objects. So for example, we're going to be learning how to do things like uh, adding six hours to a time or uh, subtracting one year, uh, things like that. So let's go inside the text editor right here and begin inside the JavaScript with a moment object for the current time. So I can say here const m is equal to a new moment object right there. And then um, to actually compare um, the manipulated time with the original time, I'm going to do two console logs here, one for before manipulation and one for after. So I can say here console.log and I can say original moment and then I can simply log out m.toString. So two strings going to print out um, the date time um, in a string form for the moment right now. And I can uh, duplicate this and I can say here after manipulation and do the same thing. So now all of the code to manipulate the time is going to be inside here. So I can save this and refresh the browser. Go inside here. Now we can see we get obviously um, the two dates right here before and after obviously now after is still the same as before so let's go ahead now and look at how to actually add time to or sorry add or subtract time from or to uh, this m moment object right here so for example if you want to add four hours to the object you can say m dot add and you can say four comma hours so you pass two arguments here to the add method obviously your value here four and then hours so I can save this refresh and we can see now we now get instead of 20 we get 00, zero on the next day so obviously now it is 804 p.m. Uh, right now for me so obviously adding four hours is gonna leave us with midnight uh, four minutes past midnight on the next day so we can see how the four hours addition has worked just fine um, you can also do something like h as a shortened version of that so I can save this refresh and we get the same result right there um, inside the documentation uh, scroll down to this section right here and you can find the table which shows you the shorthand and the regular key long version of those uh, particular units okay obviously we did hours and h right there in that example um, so if you want to add uh, multiple different types of values, for example, if you want to add something like 7 hours and 15 minutes, let's go back inside here. Of course, you can say, for example, uh, 7 hours like that, then you can say 15 minutes just like this, but you can actually chain them together. So for example, I can just go like this and do that. I can say m add 7 hours dot add 15 minutes I can save this and refresh we can see now we have 7 hours so 20 and 3 and uh, 15 minutes added so 6 and 21 right there so pretty straightforward easy to do another way you can add uh, multiple units at once is you can say basically m dot add and you can pass in an object right here and you simply say for example hours 7 and then minutes and you can say 15. So there's different ways of actually achieving the same result. I can save this and refresh and now the same result right there. So pretty easy to do. And basically uh, all of that stuff I just showed you also works for subtract. So we can say m.subtract instead and it's gonna work the exact same way. Of course, it's gonna be subtracting this time around. So I can save this, refresh once again and now we have subtracted 7 hours and 15 minutes from this time right here from 2007 down to 12.52. So that is how you can add and subtract time um, that way. Um, uh, Moment also gives you the option to uh, go back to the beginning of a particular um, unit on your object. So for example, um, right now, I'll just comment this here. So obviously we have in the console we have uh, May 27 at 8.07 p.m. or 20.07. Um, if you want to go back to um, just simply 20 hours or 8 p.m., 
you can simply go back inside here and we can say m dot start of hour and it's going to switch the time to be the start of the current hour so now I can save this and refresh we begin with obviously 2007 we end up with 20 on the dot so we've returned back to the beginning of the hour and this works for things like you know things like years for example right there start of year save this refresh and it works just fine Thursday sorry Tuesday January 1st 2019 so um, you can also do uh, the end of things so for example we can say end of right there let's just say end of day as an example save this refresh and now we get 23.59.59 so you can of course go to the end of different things and the start of different things just like that uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be um, the UTC and the local mode so as we can see here because we use the moment uh, function uh, just like this by default the generated uh, object is going to display in your local time zone so back inside here we can see we get the GMT offset at the end of the date time string and that is my current uh, offset or time zone so uh, if you want to change this to instead display in UTC well, what you can actually do is you can use the m.2 iso string method and this right here is going to automatically convert to UTC and also print out in an I, in a um, ISO uh, 8601 format. I'll, ref I'll uh, refresh this here and we can see obviously we get the ISO uh, uh, um, 8601 format in UTC but um, you can actually use um, a method um, called m.local sorry uh, m.utc I'll just put this at the end of this right here and also comment out this day stuff so m.utc is basically going to change it so um, the output and I've actually I've also uh, made this back to two string so the output here is going to now be in UTC I can save this and refresh we can see now we get GMT plus 000 so we've we've reverted back to uh, UTC and that includes of course the time itself so we get 10 hours um, behind now the original date so um, using the UTC method is going to change the way in which um, uh, the actual uh, time is being displayed okay and you can do the same thing the other way around so for example if I go m dot uh, local just like this it's now going to convert this back to local the way it was so I can save this refresh and now we are back to the original uh, state okay so that's basically just changing the time zone or the UTC offset in a simple function so if you want to change it to uh, particular values or particular offset then you can do that using the UTC offset method so let's go down here and first off let's just console.log m.utc offset I can save this and refresh we get here 600 so uh, I am 600 minutes past UTC or well, that is how um, the object is currently being displayed as of course if I was to go inside here and uncomment this local reversion back into UTC save this and refresh we get zero so essentially this gives you um, the UTC offset in which the date time um, object is currently in alright so you can also set it uh, with this same method so for example I can say m.utc offset if I want to change from 10 hours to be uh, for example 5 hours I can say 5 right there save this refresh and now it is GMT plus 0500 and of course as usual um, the time is also changed to adjust with that alright cool so that is how you can set using hours you can also set it using minutes so using the same function if I want to make this uh, 5 hours but using minutes I can say 60 times 5 which is uh, 300 so I can say 300 just like that save this refresh and now we get the same result so what happens is when you pass in um, a number here that is between negative 15 and 15 inclusive then it's going to interpret it as hours when you do anything past that number it's going to interpret it as minutes and that's why 
we can put 3 or 300, it's still going to give us the same result. Okay, cool. You can also uh, pass in a string, for example, I can say plus 03 colon 00, zero. Uh, save this and refresh. It's going to give us uh, 3 our offset just like that. I can do the same thing by passing a negative and it works just fine. Save this, refresh, and it works the same way. And that is how you can manipulate moment objects using moment.js. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.